Okay, so welcome back to uh, Flash. Um, yeah, gonna go through the blue level this time. Um, but yeah, this is this is a hard map. I'm not gonna, you know, there's no real other way of looking at it. I think I need to click that one more time actually. Oh no, it was working, shit. It's just the reset time is long. Well, hopefully that won't interfere with it. No, it still didn't make it. But yeah, so recently, um, uh, yeah, I've seen that you've got, you've got new uh, Minecraft 1.7. There's been a couple of snapshots coming out for it. So it looks like, um, I think it's got like the Birch Forest from Extra Biomes is in it now. There's uh, three new types of fish, two new fishing enchantments. Um, several types of tulip, various other flowers and some uh, tall grass. You can bone mill gra tall grass, I think. You can do lots of new things now. Um, but in a sense, it's not that much different. I guess the main difference is this summon thing. So you can do all this like NBT stuff. Um, you can do all the NBT stuff in game now. I mean, that's a series, that's just something I haven't really looked at. Because to be honest, like, my Minecraft features series, I did, I started doing, I'm not quite exactly sure where I'm on on it, but I believe I did quite a lot of the potion stuff. Um, and didn't, didn't quite finish it off. And it's actually a new potion, so it may even be, it may even be a good way to do it. What I could, perhaps could do is review a lot of the stuff I did in, like, because there was two episodes I focused on potions. I could perhaps just um, do another episode where I really did, where I just do a recap of it, just because I haven't done it for a few months. And, um, and yeah, that's not much, so that might be what I actually do, uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, I really need to try and be a bit more speedy with this stuff, though. But yeah, I mean, but the new, I mean, the new Minecraft doesn't, it doesn't seem to have that much in it, really. I mean, it seems like it does. It's got, like, packed ice. It's got, what was it, ice spikes, mesa plateau, podzol, new dirt block. There's all this sort of, like, new stuff in it, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, there's no new mobs, uh... There are certain things, and and the blocks, and the blocks that are, um, you know, the biomes are made up of clay now, which already existed um, since one point six. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of aesthetic changes. Oh wow! Let's try and focus on this map as well. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I don't know really. It's one of those things where it's like, um, I mean, there may well be more stuff, but really, one point seven is looking like you know the biome sort of update. Um, but certainly, that thing with MBT tags is quite cool. But then again, it's like almost like well. I, I could have done that stuff anyway, really, if I wanted to. And, I mean, and I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm not really sure the benefits of having, you know, like some of these compound mobs and stuff. I mean, it kind of sounds cool in theory, but in practice, it's, it's pretty useless. Um, and it's not like, I don't know. And, yeah. So I don't know. I'll be trying to get into the in back into the swing of things with um, all the the mods and stuff. Be taking a look at uh, Thorncraft Four. Thorncraft Four is looking pretty cool. Um, it's a bit like. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, the thing I first saw is, you know, it looked a bit like um, like some sort of um, color wheel model or something. Because now you use now the sort of thermometer, which you could use. Because one of the things with Thorncraft that I never really uh, did that much on was I didn't do the the node stuff. I mean, okay, obviously, part three was all about the crystal core, which was about moving nodes, but I didn't really. Um, appreciate that node stuff as much as perhaps I should have and I believe in and I believe in Thorncroft 3 anyway there was um there were different types of node now nodes actually have their have each of these different aspects the research table is different it's it's uh, more of a move the runes create um straight lines sort of mini game but again it's looking very very strong it I mean I think what I think what it is with Thorncraft Four is that the the main problem with Thorncraft Four was that the research was kind of like um, with Thorncraft Three rather was the research was a little bit repetitive um, and often you could really just spam things like uh, levers and stuff like that. Um, there were certain there were certain blocks where you knew you were gonna you know you're gonna get it and now it's it's all about you know there's like there's primal aspects and there's only a limited amount of them and a very low number of them I think that's six or something and yeah and uh, yeah and there's all like this stuff like you know you take the V like the V's out of the aura and stuff like this and I believe yeah it's funny cuz I never even noticed when I first did it is actually like dull shards and stuff um, so yeah, so the doll shards. When you put stuff in like the, um, when you put stuff in the in the cauldron, stuff is more complex. Apparently, you can actually use um, night or instead of um, putting a fire underneath the cauldron. I have a feeling that when I did my Thorncraft Part Two. Um, I may not have even used fire at all. I, I don't know. That might not be right. That might not be right. But I have a feeling that I may not have actually done that. So, yeah. But yeah, Thorncraft is pretty awesome, though. And another another um, the big mod at the moment is this thing called Morph, I think. You can, uh, you can turn into all different characters. There's also this mana creeper, which looks pretty cool. Which, when it dies, it goes in. It has a nice, uh, there's some nice graphics with it. I don't know though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna certainly, um, you know, I mean, realistically, it's like, for instance, lot, I really, I mean, really, the thing about my channel is that I really like to, to cover all the different mods. Um, but that is not the only thing about the channel. The other thing is to actually start being good. You know, I wouldn't be doing this parkour in a sense if I didn't want to be good at it. And it's the same for the mods. And often, in a lot of my early, in fact, yeah, funnily enough, there's actually new IC2 stuff as well. Well, funnily enough, something else I realised is Iron Chest is actually, um, Iron Chest is actually used, uh, originally an IC2 add-on. A lot of stuff was originally IC2 add-ons. If you look at like the early history of it and this is really I mean this is really what I'd try and do my channel because yeah another thing while I'm just randomly talking about all this stuff like with my Roots series right it was kind of annoying right because uh, in a way yeah I didn't I didn't quite do that right because first of all I started with the PC gamer demo and that was like from beta like 1.7 or something so that was already a mistake, right? I could actually play this map with... Um, I wonder what this map would be like with 1.7 because now it's the dedicated sprint key. Hmm, that is an interesting question, actually. But yeah, as I was saying, with the um, Root series... Um, 
I don't know how I did make that jump. With the Root series, yeah, I started with um, a PC gamer demo, and then I went on to InDev, and now with the launcher, which came with 1.6.2, it's not now, it's something I realised a while ago, with the launcher, I realised I can actually play, literally, I can play fucking cave game, which is, is way older than InDev. So I may have to, I may, I may reboot that series in a sense, even though I haven't really got started with it, but I sort of feel that I would like to, if I'm going to do this sort of like proper kind of analysis of everything, it would be cool. I'm going to have to look at, because to be honest, I'm thinking like how many lines, I mean, how many lines of code does, does the original cave game have? I mean, it can't be that many. They can't be that, it can't be that complicated. But this, so it's almost like, because I sort of thought like, yeah, let's do like a series where I do the mechanics and then I could do later on, I could do a series where I do like the forensics kind of thing. You know, it's like the programming forensics. But I thought, why not just do that? You know, I almost could just do it like, I don't know. I almost just could do that, 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 that sort of, um, you know, forensic stuff, you know, just, just straight off the bat. Another thing I also was thinking about is like, what, why not do like a, a sort of snippets where I like look at snippets of various, you know, I could just, you know, because to be honest, I, I mean, I haven't really looked at all the external software and I'm realizing, you know, that I, there is a, like what I could potentially do, right, is, um, this jump I would like to get, what I could potentially do is just do some sort of like, a sort of like a snippet sort of thing, you know, um, damn it. This is quite an important jump to get there. Because with this speed parkour, there's a whole there's a whole next level of stuff to do. Hmm. I should be I really should be able to make this jump. Okay. But yeah, I mean, so yeah, so I could potentially do like snippets of code, or I could just look at certain you know, because obviously there's a level dot dat file. Um, this is quite tricky to get a sh to get a short little burst. Um, you know, I could just like yeah, let's look at the level dot dat file. Let's look at some of the things you can change. Let's look at little things about you know. Um, you know about just sort of like changing. Um, um, what's the best way to put this? You know, like just changing, you know, like game mode or something, or changing certain factors. And you know, and, and in a way, this stuff with all this stuff, with like you know, being able to edit all the data, you know, and this summon command and stuff in one point seven, you know, it makes me think maybe I could do some kind of series in that. But then I don't want to do it just for the sake of it. That's the thing. So I, pro I mean, to be honest, even though I'm saying all these things, I probably will. Um, just stick to um, um, the previous plan, which is basically just to try and cover as many mods as possible, um, and then and then, but then at, at some point to really say, you know, I'm gonna just just really start working hard on, um, you know, understanding, you know, the forestry, the industrial crafts, the real kind of. Um... Now, the thing about this section is this is all about it's all about cursor position here. If you get the cursor position just right, you're never going to fall off here. It's tiny little. This is the sort of thing you're going to have to do a lot of times. I get the feeling. Oh, that wasn't bad. This this thing, and sometimes you can actually just walk straight across because you're because the speed you get here, right? Oh, well, sometimes I don't know. I've I've opened it and it said speed three before, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. I think perhaps. Yeah, you see that? I literally just walk straight across these things. So let's just um, let's just do this a little bit more. You know, I, this is not this is not really you know this is stupid to say I'm doing a speed run. I'm not doing a speed run on this. No, oh, that is a big jump. I'm not going to worry about that though. All right.
right, so yeah. So yeah, so I mean, yeah, so that's, yeah, we talked about quite a lot there. But um, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.